right, let's talk about what's trending on your Monday afternoon. We're talking about tennis star Novak Djokovic's visa. It has been restored in Australia and he has been released from a quarantine hotel, but he is not 100% in the clear. Court documents show the world's number one tennis player has not been vaccinated for COVID, which caused problems with his entry into Australia. Djokovic said he received medical exemptions and he also contracted COVID for a second time on December 16th before leaving for Australia. But he was photographed unmasked with groups of children on the days following that apparent positive test. So today an Australian judge ruled the tennis star can stay in the country, but the Minister of Immigration still has the power to cancel his visa. Djokovic tweeted he's pleased and grateful and plans to play the Australian Open starting next Monday. Lots of people following that. Plus, we have heard about people buying and flipping homes. Well, now Ford is reportedly worried some people might be thinking about flipping the new F-150 Lightning. Now we know demand for the all electric pickup has been very strong. Now CNET reports Ford is giving dealers the option to add a no sale provision to contracts that would force buyers to agree not to sell or transfer ownership of the truck until they've owned it for a year. The Lightning will start shipping in the first half of the year. We're told these agreements aren't uncommon for hotly anticipated vehicles. Pepperidge Farm is hoping to hook even more adults on its popular goldfish crackers. It's launching goldfish megabytes. You can probably guess the crackers are bigger than the regular snacks. They've also upgraded the flavors to sharp cheddar and cheddar jalapeno. Many people might think that those crackers are for kids, but this mom can tell you. They're pretty good. They were first report, I should say, first marketed as a bar snack to serve with cocktails. That was back in 1962. Well, Pepperidge Farm says about half of its customers do not have kids in their homes. So there you go. They are yummy. Amy Schneider has become another Jeopardy champion who keeps going and going and going. Now, if you missed Friday night, she also reached another big milestone. Schneider is the fourth player to become a Jeopardy millionaire during non-tournament play. She's won 28 games in a row. Schneider is now closing in on James Holzhauer's winning streak. He won 32 games, so she could tie him later this week. Jeopardy James is still far ahead of her in earnings. He made more than 2.4 million during his run. Remember, you can watch Jeopardy on Local 4 weeknights at 730.